Just wiping down my wellies. I'm gonna wear them into town today and it has been raining. I'll give you an update on how the first weekly drop of my shirts went quite well actually and better than expected. I'm doing four shirts that I will be uploading every Friday onto my Instagram and I'll do some style talks around them and show you how to wear them and show you how they work and then uh, yeah they'll be listed and available to purchase. So I did the first one and it went really really well. With things like this it is slow going but I made one sale and so just so chuffed with that. Today I'm hopping into town by hop I mean I'm like walking for an hour to get into town and I'm going to source some more shirts for next week's drop. I'll do an outfit check. As I said, I'm just popping into town, but to get to town is a one hour walk. I don't have to walk, we have a car, but I've kind of adapted to this new lifestyle and that lifestyle is that everything revolves around this boat. So I sew on this boat, I edit videos on this boat, I teach English on this boat, I'm always on this boat. And when I get off the boat, it's really my opportunity to just get some fresh air, but also dress up, wear my clothing, all those kinds of things that you don't get to do when you're just around the house. Obviously this is not a house. It is overcast outside. I'm still wearing sunglasses because they finish off every outfit for me and they just make me feel cool. I don't care. I go with it. I'm wearing my trusty old uh, low quality hat. That is my favorite. I'm wearing Paul's blazer. I love oversized men's things so bonus for me. Just a sleeveless jumper here. Very oversized which I love and a white t-shirt so that I don't overheat while I'm walking as well. 16 degrees outside, so chilly, but you'll definitely get hot while you're walking. With that, wearing a very casual chino style pant. Got my slops and socks on for now, but I'm changing into the wellies as my walking shoe. Footwear is what I battle with the most, and generally I'm always basing my outfit around footwear. Making sure that I'm comfortable to walk, but that I don't feel hideous while going into town, because as I said, it's my one opportunity to dress up, so I want to look Good. I do like the idea of tucking my trousers into the wellies, even though they're not a fashion boot, it still works for me and uh, we do what we can with what we have. Home. I'm just reorganizing myself and my shopping bag. Earlier on I thought oh, I'll make a bit of a joke and uh, show you the bustling fashion metropolis that is the town of Long Eaton, for instance. You can see it's nothing to write home about. And just as I was going to head home, I found one charity shop that I have never been into. There's four that I have shot from before, walked into this one, thought, ah, if I don't find anything, that's fine. And then the girl goes and finds an Yves Saint Laurent shirt in a perfect shade of blue. And as you can tell, I'm speechless. Well, 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 what do you know? Even in the little sleepy town of Long Eaton, <laughs> YSL is to be found. chuffed with my purchases. Continuing with a little bit of show and tell. So the other gorgeous ones I've got are these two green numbers. 
such nice sort of non-color colors it's like a neutral but not what i was really chuffed with is that i got really good brands it's important to me to buy great quality i had this one from the last time which i actually didn't end up doing i turned the one that i was going to do as a sample the stripy blue and white one into an actual shirt and that's the one that sold so i'm so glad that i did this one is really interesting it's got such nice uh floral detail in the collar and on the cuffs the collar, unfortunately, is a little bit stained, so might have to take this bit off and then just kind of make it like a Mandarin style, not too sure. But definitely going to do the weekday style in this one because it's just, it's just such a nice fabric and it's the only one that I really leave the cuff on. So I think this will make a great, great weekday. Seems to be a theme of picking up a lot of lilac. Got this lovely checked number. That's a really good brand. And the quality of this fabric, I can't even tell you, is fantastic. I just don't know how I'm going to let all of these go. Another fantastic shirt. It's McGregor. This pink is so nice. And it's that really good, I don't know if you can see, that like good texture. There's some nice detail on the cuff there. I'm going to have a hard time figuring out which styles to do which designs in but we'll get there i might have a try on in a bit and uh, just get my head around it and then see where to go the last one is a really great aquascutum i'm sure many of you will know that brand it's such a great print the gray the mix of the gray the brown and the pink i think is really interesting <laughs> myself so yes I uh, hopefully we'll find more in the future and this whole project is very very dangerous for a fashion lover because doing one-offs means it's gonna be hard so hard at times to let things go but I hope that just means that you guys know that I'm always only going to bring you the best we've got some movement outside They're moving on. Shouldn't shouldn't hear too much motorboat on the camera. Out for check for today, if anyone's interested. I'm wearing this vintage linen blazer. It is super oversized, and this is like my greatest number one tip for if you work at home, or this might be few and far between. You live on a boat and love fashion. If you do, uh, at the beginning of the day, I'll decide what jacket I'm wearing and then leave it out, just like throw it on the bed. So even though I'm just around. The boat i keep wanting to say the house i'll just keep my t-shirt on and then that's just what i'm wearing but if i need to get off the boat for anything if i have to go pick up a parcel i want to go for my walk i don't have to think about how to layer this thing the jacket's there waiting for me i put it there in the morning and then it's easy to look put together and i don't just reach for maybe a hoodie or a jumper or something like that i'm wearing it with just my favorite levi's jeans these are great because they look rigid and are super high-waisted but they have a lot of stretch they are the rib cage fit if anyone's interested and my usual pool slide house sandal space in here. <laughs> Very boat appropriate. All that's left to do now is figure out which shirt is going to be made in which style and I've got to do that quickly because I really only have today and that's because we have big plans in moving the boat. We are going to be continuously cruising for a few weeks and so I am getting this collection ready for Friday and we literally set off on Saturday. So it's going to be interesting times navigating this 
small but growing business hopefully growing from the canal system and figuring out posting and that kind of thing that is assuming that i'm gonna get orders uh, from last week's drop which was four shirts only sold one so you never know it's generally slow going when these things kick off so i might be safe but i hope i am stuck and need to find a post office and that people love what i do and start to pick it up and decide to purchase some shirts if you haven't seen what i did with last week's drop pop onto my instagram and you'll see my igtv i've got styling videos where i wore all the shirts and showed everyone exactly how to wear them and what they look like and all the little details that i add into the shirts so head over there if you haven't already stay tuned for next week's video i would like to do a week in outfits vibe i since moving onto the boat have constantly been trying to find people that do a more outdoorsy aesthetic but in a fashion way that's practical but that doesn't look too laid back it's a very specific thing i myself struggle to describe the exact style i'm going for i just continue to find my own ways by still wearing my blazers albeit in a casual way or with slides or something like that and when i'll be out in the cut obviously i'll be doing locks and things and walking so i'll be in very practical footwear but feeling like I need to still feel like myself and I just want to bring fashion into it because that's what I love and it can be done whatever scenario you find yourself in we can all adapt and change and uh, make things work for us so stay tuned for that one I think it'll be exciting and if there's anyone else that's had a lifestyle change or anything like that I think yeah it's just cool to share different stories and give insight to a different point of view